for the bump. Morning, 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 morning. What a stunning morning. Oh, I just feel as if it's going to be a good morning. Uh, I woke up early. I intended to get up before sunrise, but I woke up early to give me more time. And uh, we've expected, predicted fog in the next couple of hours while the sun rises. So that is the perfect combination for what I'm looking for. Uh, I've come to a woodland. I've, as I've come here, there is one or two banks of low-lying A's, if you like. Uh, but in the next, about eight o'clock, it's predicted fog, for sure. So, um, this could be a perfect morning to get that sun bursting through that fog in the woodland, so I've come to the woods. Everything seems to be right this morning. I've even had a black cat run out in front of me. I think that's supposed to be lucky, isn't it? Uh, got a full moon over here now. I shot the moon last night. I went and shot the moon last night. It was fantastic. I'll put a photo up. Um, did try and do a vlog, but let's just say I got disturbed. <laughs> but yeah, I've got a couple of photos of the moon rising. And it's going to be a lovely moon set as well. But I can see it through the trees now. It looks superb. So, uh, yeah. Now I'm walking through the wood. I'm going to go to the other side. See if there's a, a pocket of mist on the other side of the woodland. The only problem with that is the sun's setting this way. Uh, at sun rising behind me. And I can't seem to get any colour. There's no cloud whatsoever on the other side, but I'm just looking for that mist to be honest. So I'm going to crack on, get to the other side. I hope you can see me well enough, by the way, um, and uh, get prepared. Oh, I am super, super, super excited. Guys, I've got my first image. Um, as the, the moon is setting, um, it's setting above these two trees. Um, so it's pretty much in the middle of them now. I've put the trees in the bottom right hand third. I might do a, um, a portrait shot as well. Focus on the trees. The moon looks superb. I've took all my filters out. I wish I'd have left my filters in, but what I'm going to do instead, because I haven't used my filters for a while, I'm going to bracket the shot. So I'm going to expose it for the foreground, which I've done. And now I'm just going to drop it right down. So we get a bit more colour in the sky. Because we've got a, like a pink hue. Um, so I've done that. We'll, uh, we'll move back up to roughly where I want it, which is a tenth of a second F16. What I'm thinking of is, oh my God, I'm on ISO 1250. Better sort that out. That's from last night's moonshot, right? It's a good job I checked. Oh, it's hearing me, right? 
Let's go ISO 100. So ISO 100. One second exposure. I think that's just about enough. What I'm worried about is, is me capturing the moon and it's too um, distorted because it's moving, or the Earth's moving. So I might just up the ISO actually to, let's put it up to 400, which means I can then adjust the shutter speed, which is giving me a fourth of a second. There we go. Okay, so that is my first image. Now the only, the only other thing that we could really make it better is had a couple of birds in that image. Don't know why, but just lately I need a bird in an image. Um, now to do that, I'd have to really up the shutter speed. Um, but we'll see if there's any flying around that I think worth getting. I might just change it for that reason. The other the other thing that might um, improve the image if the moon's a little bit closer to the trees. So as it gets closer, I might move to the to the left hand side because it's dropping to the right. Um, just to keep it sort of in line with the trees. But I'm going to stop here for a little bit, I've got plenty of time. And um, just wait for that sunrise. There's a, the slightest bit of haze in the, uh, in the background. It just, you can just see it it's just slightly coming. So hopefully if that develops this morning, it's going to be an absolute super morning. Super. And it's beautiful. It was lovely last night, like I say, when I'd done the... Um, done the uh, shoot on the uh, moon rising. Um, didn't really think about it, getting it on a setting this morning, but obviously it's, a, it's that perfect time of the year where it's rising and setting, sunrise and sunset. So uh, I'm looking forward to this morning. Oh, oh yeah, I've even brought myself a coffee just to relax. Let me get another couple of shots of this uh, these trees and this super snow moon, I believe. What I've decided to do is, is I've dropped my f-stop to f8. I might even drop it slightly further. Um, it's just in case I get a flock of birds fly over, which at the minute is giving me a hundred, hundredth of a second. I think I'm going to drop it to f6.3, so I've got a good shutter speed. And then if I get some birds, I'm going to put it on, um, um, take the two-second timer off, so I can instantly hit the button and get that shot. Let's do that. Wait for some birdies. There is one or two flying around, but they're a little bit too far in the distance. Uh, but I'm sure at some point. It'll happen. Blocks I've got. I have got plenty of time. So I'm going to spend a fair bit of time here, I think. Just a matter of waiting now. Birds over here, look at those over here. Come on, birds. Let's feed you. Let's feed you. Come on. Come on, birds. Come on. Yeah. misty over there, getting a little bit misty over there and that's a lot that part of the woodland as well so um, yes okay we're just getting to a stage now where the the moon is just clipping the top of the tree um, so much further I've either got to move back over that way because the moon will drop behind the trees or um, I've got to forget the image but I'm still waiting on the odd bird to fly through which they are now. Oh, that could be a decent one. Um, I've gone portrait now just to, to get more of the birds, to be honest with you, and then I can always do a square crop or something like that. Um, but like I say, the moon is just dropping, just touching the top of the tree. Um, not literally, it's a bit further away. Now. But uh, yeah. 
So I think what I'm going to do next, as soon as I've sort of killed this image, um, I think I might get the drone up and get the sun rising from that way, uh, which is, I think it's rising any time now. So I think I've pretty much battered this shot. Um, I'll just get a couple more of that. Um, unless I literally add uh, a bird in exactly the right position now, I think the shot's done. So I'm going to um, I'm going to set the drone up. We'll have a, a little look above and we'll see what we get. See how misty it's getting. Eh? Yes, let's do that. Oh, guys, I've got this lovely scene in front of me. To the bottom right hand third, I've got um, just a stump sticking out of the ground, and it's just being touched by the light. In the, in the left hand side of the image, we've got this evergreen tree that's being backlit by the sun, and then the sun bursting through um, with these beautiful sun rays, and there is a little bit that was a deer then. There is a little bit of that, that mist which we was hoping for that just uh, emphasises these rays. It looks absolutely stunning. You can see the contrast on my body here. We've got, I'm just in the shade here so I can see. And then, oh, blimey. Um, I've gone to F16 in a minute. The other thing I like about this image is there's bits of green moss and the light's catching almost as if it's picking out the moss and nothing else and it looks superb so i'm going to get carry on getting this image but it looks beautiful absolutely it's one of them photos that i've been after this morning and it's a proper proper result Right, yet another image. I've gone quite wide angle and I think I'll probably zoom in as well and see what I can pick out. But I've come wide because the shadow it's casting across the floor, all it is is shadows and highlights are leading lines bringing you through the trees. Um, and we've got a lovely sort of selection with trees and then the odd backlit branch because it's, uh, like I say, it's like an evergreen area of the woodland. So I'm getting that lit leaves it looks absolutely stunning uh, really like the image quite simple i've focused on the um uh the tree sort of closest to me the bottom of the stump there so um i'm on f22 and it looks absolutely beautiful it is very hard to get that uh that exposure correct and so i do adjust the exposure and then I will actually pick my, what I can work with or even work with one or two and merge them in Lightroom or Photoshop. Um, but um, what a beautiful, beautiful scene. We're getting the, 
the light's quite dark actually, but we're just getting beams and cast of light all across the 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 floor of the the woodland here. And like I say, this these backlit um, leaves look really nice. I, I think I'm going to try and capture a little bit of that and get that as that foreground interest. So we'll have a go at that. See if we can get that as a foreground interest. Guys, as you can see from uh, the image, look at this. I think this is going to be my thumbnail. Um, look at the light surrounding me. Okay, I'll put my 70 to 200 Canon lens on with a Sony adapter that works extremely well on me. And I've done that to reach into that extra bit of mist as it's coming through these trees. Uh, and I'm just working this little area. I've moved 20 yards move, and I've spent, I've been here a good half an hour now just picking little sections of it out. And <laughs> it is really nice. I think if I went wide angle, I need a real good foreground subject and just, I just can't find one. But if I do, I'll go back to my uh, wide angle lens and try that out. Um, but I think the one that's given me the most uh, uh, productivity is my 70 to 200. Anything from 70 to, to right reaching in for that 200 mil um, is superb. But look at this. Let me just go in the shade a little bit. Look at this. Look at. But I'm surrounded by the light. Surrounded by the light. <laughs> and like I say, it's got that little into the mist which is what I wanted it's exactly what I wanted it's got atmosphere it's got layers and it's absolutely stunning and again like I say because of these evergreen ferns they they've just um, just backlit by the light and it's really really nice uh, and I think I might spend I'm going to sit on a stump somewhere and I'm going to have me my coffee and enjoy myself. Uh, <laughs> oh, what a morning, what a morning. Come on, let's have it. Me a bloody coffee. You don't want coffee. You love tea anyway, not coffee. Guys, I have thoroughly enjoyed this one. Um, the the weather's been absolutely superb. We've still got that mist in the air, so we're still them lovely rays of light coming through. Um, I think I've got some real nice images. It started off well and it's just carried on through. And I've thoroughly loved every second. It's an absolutely stunningly beautiful morning. It's still only half past eight in the morning. The, the wood's starting to explode with colour down here. It looks superb. Uh, so yeah, I have thoroughly enjoyed this big time. You want some fussing? Come on, then. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on up here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. <laughs> You don't like coffee. You don't want coffee. So we go. Here we 
Here we go. Come on.